big number grows bigger. Big number grows bigger. Hello, 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 everybody! How is it going? Look at all those Leafeons in the chat. You love to see it in the one Snorlax who's too cool to cheer, so he just dabs. Either that or he's, like, 14, because I think that's what the 14-year-old kids like to do. What's going on? Hi, Meerkat! Hi, Hung! Hi, TS! So good to see you guys. Uh, Hung and TS, thank you both very, very much for the resubs. I appreciate it very much. 53 months for TS and five months for Hung. I don't care how long, how short. It's wonderful just the same. Thank you both very much for the resubs. I, uh, I appreciate it. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope your weeks are going well. I know both Meerkat and Hung have or had COVID. So before we begin, I need to ask you guys, how are you guys feeling? Are you feeling okay? And well, this extends to TS too. TS, I know you don't have COVID, but how are you feeling? How, how's everybody feeling? Give me a status report, please. I need, I need a checkup on everybody. I am, uh, I'm doing okay. I had a very busy day at work. I'm actually helping one of the senior lawyers at my office on an appeal, um, which as you may or may not know is usually pretty complicated. You know, you take something to trial and then 
the next level up is an appeal, and it's usually, well, not usually, it has to be on a point of law. You can't appeal facts. It has to be on a point of law, and so usually it's very um, contentious or convoluted legal issues that are in play, and that's definitely the case here. Um, luckily, I am not, this is not my trial. I am simply helping out, uh, but the trial is on Thursday. And so we met up today and just had like a full day sort of planning, brainstorming session. And oh my God, my brain feels like, my brain feels like ditto. It is just, it is just so jelly right now. We use maximum brain power today. So other than that, I'm doing good, but I'm, I'm definitely a little bit tired. Hey, Mr. XQ, recently I learned that in Canada, the prosecution can appeal, which is crazy as an American. Yes, yeah, that is, that is correct. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. I did not know you couldn't do that in America. Um, so that's that's news to me. That's my fun fact for the day. <laughs> also, TS, oh my god. Immortalizing that out of context quote forever. Hung says, I still have COVID. Rapid test a couple hours ago says I do at least. But the real question is, how are you feeling? I was testing positive on test. Well, I stopped testing after a while. But up until day 10... I was testing positive, um, but after day five, I rapidly improved. So really, really hoping that's the same for you. Hi, Betty. How are you? When you forget Tiff has a real girl, real big girl job. I sure do. Uh, I sure, I sure do. And today it, it definitely felt like the big girl job. You know, some days you're like, wow, you know, I didn't do much today. But I still get that paycheck. Today was the opposite. Today I was like, I really earned that paycheck today. The brain, if my if my ears could release steam, like a steam engine, if my brain was powered by coal or steam, you, you would have seen the steam today. Hi, La! Hello, hello! So good to see everybody. Welcome on in. You're doing okay, TS? I'm glad to hear it. Meerkat, how are you doing with your COVID? Give us a COVID update. We have an idea called Double Jeopardy. You can't be prosecuted for the same crime twice. The only time the prosecution can get a second shot is a mistrial without prejudice. So that is the same rule here, uh, Mr. X. In theory, the prosecution, you can't just appeal things willy-nilly. Um, you know, I can't get convicted of something and then just appeal it just because I don't like the decision. There are very specific points that you can appeal. A lot of times you actually need leave for an appeal, so that's a whole other process. You have to prepare an application and an argument to even just get leave to appeal. So in in the rare circumstances that you mentioned where a prosecution would appeal, it would be on something, it would have to be on a point of law that they believe the judge applied incorrectly. So... Very specific circumstances is what I'm trying to say here. Because we do still have the double jeopardy principle as well. Um, yeah, there's there's your legal <laughs> your legal learning for the night. Good relaxing and playing Tycho right now is Penny. What is Tycho? I must know. To Google. Tycho. Tycho is. Um okay, I'm gonna put in Tycho game. There's a place called Calgary Tycho Drumming. I live in Calgary. This came up first. It's Japanese Tycho Drum Performance Ensemble Classes and Workshops. Cool. Okay. Uh, so, guessing the game is based off of this drum, which I can apparently take classes in if I wanted to, but let's narrow it down to Tycho Game. Aha, I got it. Oh, it's the it's the little guy with the cute face. I I've like seen this game before, but like, like I immediately recognize that mascot. But I have no idea what the game is. But I yeah, the mascot is very familiar to me. It's a drum and fun game. Wait a minute, is this like the new age Donkey Konga? Oh my god, it comes with like a little drum and two little drumsticks, and there's like cute. Anime little characters. Oh, this is adorable. This looks so, so, so fun. I love this for you, Penny. Drum up a storm on this Tuesday. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Hung says, my fever's gone now. Still got some brain fog, sore throat, cough, and general shit feeling. At least the fever is broken. It's only up from there, right? And you might have some of those side effects linger for a little while, but hopefully you'll start seeing like some really big, uh, really big improvements. Law says, this week I've done nothing but sit my ass in the chair and wait for the clock to tick. It's so boring having nothing to do. It's a very fine line when you're working, right? Sometimes you're too busy and you're like, fuck this shit. I don't get paid enough for this shit. And then sometimes you're so bored where you're like, I would pay them to let me go home. <laughs> so it's a very fine line where you want enough work to keep you going, but not too much where you're stressed or you feel like you're working above your pay grade, right? <laughs> that's that's the balance. Mirkat, you just have a cough, but overall you're fine? Okay, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad you're improving. Uh, Law says, did you know there was a guy in prison for 30 or so years while he kept getting mistrials and the district attorney kept reindicting and committing prosecu prosecutorial, I don't say that word very often in my line of work, misconduct every time? That's wild. How do you keep getting mistrials for 30 years? That's, that's insanity. Someone, I hope someone lost their job. Multiple someones, honestly, by the sounds of that. Oh, you want to see as well? Here, I'll post you this Amazon listing. This is this is the Amazon listing I was just looking at for the Tyco drum game. It's called Drum and Fun. It's actually a Nintendo Switch uh, sorry, a Nintendo UK import. Comes with the game and a Tyco drum set in a fancy bundle box. And I gotta be honest, I kind of want to play it now because it's, it's given me it's given me Donkey Konga vibes and I loved Donkey Konga. But if we click that link, Tiff, we'll have nothing but ads for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be getting Tyco ads everywhere I go. Just blame Penny. Don't blame me. Blame Penny. <laughs> hey, Beast, how are you? These are the same old blue light glasses. So I mentioned in the Discord twice now in the past month, once um, just after Christmas, I believe it was the 27th or the 28th. I was hit with a crippling migraine, like the I need to go to bed at 7 p.m. because I cannot continue to exist type of migraine. And then on Saturday, Saturday passed, I had another bad one. So two really bad migraines in like a short period of time. And I have suffered from them occasionally throughout my life. But to have two that close together, I was like, oh, man, like maybe maybe I need glasses, right? Because I do try to wear these Obviously, most of my life is in front of a screen. I work right there on this computer for eight hours, and then I swivel around, and then I'm on here for three or four hours in the night. So I get it, you know. Um, I try to protect my eyes as much as possible. But after getting those two migraines, I was like, oh, man. I gotta go get my eyes checked. So I actually got my eyes checked on Monday, and um, everything is good. He said I have close on 2020 vision. Uh, so it appears the migraines are not being caused by my vision, which is good. It's always good to rule out one cause. Um, obviously, I still need to try not to strain my eyes, and I do like wearing these blue light glasses. Before I got these blue light glasses, excuse me, I was really skeptical. I was like, they're basically fake glasses. Like, what are they going to do? And now, obviously, I can't speak for everyone. I'm sure there are some people out there who are like, blue light glasses are dumb and do nothing. But for me personally, I've found they really do help my eyes. I used to really, my eyes used to get really, really dry. And I started wearing these and they, they really help. So if anybody's suffering from like dry eyes, I would definitely recommend. Um, how did I even get here? I don't <laughs> oh, Beast asked about my glasses. Then that reminded me of my eye test. Then we talked about my migraines. Then we talked about my blue... Yeah, okay. TLDR, not sure what's causing my migraines. Hopefully I don't get any more. And you should get some blue light glasses. <laughs> that's that's all the information I need to share with you. Zippy says, oh, hi, Zippy. Hi. <laughs> hey, so uh, I downloaded something today and you might love it or hate it and declare it cursed. Okay. Color me intrigued. Have you heard of Pokemon Infinite Fusion? I have not, and I'm going to immediately Google it. Pokemon Infinite Fusion. What is this? Oh, you can combine any two Pokemon together into a completely new Pokemon. I could see how that could potentially be amazing, 
or cursed. I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Tori. Also, thank you, Meerkat. I appreciate it. Hopefully it was just those two and now we'll be smooth sailing, but we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, are we gonna try this? Before we play Star Wars, are we gonna, are we gonna do this? Oh, wait, I have to download it? Is there, like, a browser version? There is a Pokemon Fusion web app. Okay. That's what I want. I don't want to download it right now. Pokemon Fusion Generator. Here we go. Okay. Oh ho. Alright. Hang on. Let me share my screen so we can we can all take part in this together. What are we doing? Zippy has introduced us to something called Pokemon Fusion. And we are about to get something either amazing or cursed. I think that's just a generator to calculate what you can do, but the game is actually a Pokemon game. Oh, so it's actually a Pokemon game using fusion Pokemon. Oh, that would definitely be cursed. Hey, Stendhal, what's up? So glad to hear you like the new backgrounds. We got lights back there too. Hey, Crunch. Crunch is hoping for cursed. All right, well, let's see what we get, shall we? One sec. Sorry, I didn't have my browser capture set up because as Stendhal mentioned, these are new overlays. Okay, here we go. Pokemon Fusion. So, you get to choose two Pokemon, and then fuse them together. Oh, it only goes up to Gen 8. I was going to say I'm going to fuse my two favorite Pokemon, which are Leafeon and Sprigatito. Okay, Spr Gen 9 are out of the question, so we'll go with some of my other favorite Pokemon. Let's go Eevee, one of my favorites, and Lapras. Two of my all-time favorite Pokemon, okay? Eevee and Lapras. Hi, Hero! How are you? You arrived just in time. We are trying out the Pokemon Fusion Generator. And we are going to see what happens if I put two of my sweet babies together, an Eevee and a Lapras. We're going to see what we get. All right? You ready? Three, two, one, fuse! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a lap V. And honestly, from from the face up, can I zoom in? Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. From from like the ruffle up, it's okay. It's only the weird flipper feet at the bottom that that freaked me out. All in all, it really could be worse, honestly. Not not too bad. Um all things considered. There's the lap V. <laughs> okay, time to pick two of my other favorite Pokemon. Ready? Okay, so we're gonna go Charmander, one of my favorites, and we're gonna go Snorlax, another one of my favorites. Oh, hang on though, before we do that, Penny said if you flip the order, you get a different result. So hang on one second. We gotta test that first. So we'll put Lapras on this side and Eevee on this side and let's see what we get. Ready? <laughs> oh my God, I kind of love it. Guys, I love it. I actually love it. <laughs> Look at the little face. Look at it! You can thank Penny for this, everyone. Look at this face! That is the cutest thing I've ever seen! And it has a tail! I'm down for an Epris. 
I am so down for an Ypres. <laughs> okay, good to know we need to try it both ways. So, back to what I was gonna do. We're gonna do Charmander, and we're gonna do Snorlax, okay? Two of my favorites. A small boy, a big boy. <laughs> TS is much in the way that Lapras ferries you across water, this guy would ferry you across grassland. <laughs> Law well, says it's way better than the fish slash trash panda hybrid you got earlier. <laughs> Alright, everyone ready for Charmander x Snorlax? Let's see what we get. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you... The Snormander. <laughs> I I don't know, I don't hate him so far. No, I would I wouldn't classify any of these things so far as being truly cursed. So far they're like kind of cute. I don't totally hate it. Lost as he's wearing a costume. <laughs> he's kind of cute. I don't know. I don't hate it. Uh Penny asks a great question and says, "Do these arrows quickly swap the positions?" And they sure do, and Penny is a genius. That's why we keep her around. All right, let's see the other way around. <laughs> oh my God, Charlax is epic! <laughs> Hello, I'm Charlax. <laughs> Oh, that is incredible. He's going to burn your dinner and eat it, too. <laughs> Zippy, thank you so much for bringing this to my attention. This is potentially life-changing right here. Why did they censor his junk? Is that what that little bar is? Is that his censored junk? <laughs> okay, Zippy has recommended a truly cursed... Option. Zippy says... For a cursed, do a Pidgey and a Rattata. And yes, I absolutely can toss the link in chat for all of you guys who want to make your own cursed things. Okay. Pidgey? I am ready for cursed. I am ready to not be able to sleep tonight. Because of whatever Zippy has showed me. Here we go. Pidgey? Ratata. Ratata? Ratata? How do you guys pronounce it? You may have to reverse it? Alright, well, we'll try this way. And then, then change if necessary. Three, two, one, fuse! <laughs> Rat G. That was not too cursed. <laughs> There's the Rat G. Now let's reverse it to get something that's truly cursed. Y'all ready? <laughs> A pinch tata. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. Neither of those are the one that's in the game. Well, now I now I want to know what one's in the game. Mr. X says, what's the one that's a ring of keys? Um, uh, what is the ring of keys called? If I just type in keys, will it come up? No. Clef key. Thank you. Clef key. Who should clef key merge with for the most cursed thing we can find? Anybody have any uh, ideas, suggestions? Tyranitar, Metagross. Both good. Alright, let's try Metagross first. <laughs> Why does he just look like a penis on a ring of keys? <laughs> Am I allowed to show this on stream? He's a very angry-looking penis. With a, well, he's angry because he only has one testicle. <laughs> Alright, I'm, sw I'm switching him. 
he has two testicles this time. <laughs> and he took the keys into his own hands. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fantastic. Okay, one last one. I'll do the two that Terra and TS suggested. So Polywhirl and Tyranitar. Let's see what we get. Then we'll go play some Star Wars. Alright? Ready? Three, two, one! Tyranna Whirl! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That is good. Look at that little head. <laughs> this is brilliant. Whoever came up with this, like, who programmed this shit? This is genius. I have put my most recent curse encounter in Coleman's. Okay, we will check it after we reverse these two. It needs to be spoilers. It's so cursed. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, fuse! <laughs> That's so good! Oh my god, look at his little head! On his little butt, and he even has his little mittens! <laughs> That's actually really good! I kinda like it too! Godzilla's cousin, Bobzilla. <laughs> He's like, if a Poliwhirl dressed up as a Tyranitar for Halloween, this is how it would come out. <laughs> that is so freaking cute. Okay. 10 out of 10. He's like a Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> that is absolutely incredible. It was just three Poliwhirls in a trench coat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you very much, Zippy, for bringing that to our attention. That was, uh, in my opinion, a perfect way to start stream tonight. So th let's let's get a round of applause for Zippy. Thank you, thank you. Um, now, <laughs> I need to put that cursed content into the back of my mind, because we need to change gears here, and we're going to be playing some more Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So we started this game last Tuesday. We're only one stream in about three hours into the game. And um, when we left off, we were on the planet Zepho, I believe it is called. It is basically a planet that an ancient civilization once lived on, but the civilization has long since died. So we came to investigate, only to find that the Empire had gotten here before us and have been excavating said ruins. So we got past the Empire, we're down in the ruins, and we're still looking around for any sort of clues or information uh, about the Zepho. So that's what we're going to be here doing now and uh yeah just give me one second and i'll boot the game up get my controller and we'll get going do 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 Why is it not capturing? Oh, there it is. It was just slow. Alright, I'm gonna have to try to remember how to play this game. It's been a week since we've played. It's the only peril about playing a game only once per week. I always forget how to play, so you'll have to give me a minute here at the beginning. Uh, I do remember we were down in the ruins where those stupid ball rolly puzzles are, so we'll see how those go tonight. So we don't get uh, too stuck. Any time now, game. Wow, that takes a long time to load up. Remember, they maintain angular momentum after you freeze them. Yes, and when there's the other thing that I needed to remember was it will get an additional push if you freeze it and then turn um, the air on as well. So if we go... Yeah, so we're currently in the Tomb of Isleram. Which is 
much wondering, we go to quests. Yeah, here we go. So this is a, this will be a good summary of where we're at. Chapter 2, The Eye of the Storm. The crew travel to the Zepho homeworld, searching for the tombs that Cordova mentioned. They learn the Empire occupied Zepho in order to mine ancient artifacts. The directive, codenamed Project Augur, was terminated after Zepho's magnetic winds proved too difficult to deal with. Now, Cal and BD find themselves inside an ancient Zepho tomb, looking for messages from Cordova. That's where we're at. Here's Cal, here's BD. Here's the tomb. And, uh, speaking of the devil, here's one of these ball puzzles. We can freeze items in place, but we cannot overcome Newtonian physics. Does that mean, uh, Sir Isaac Newton is in Star Wars canon? <laughs> Okay, well that one was easy enough. Uh, who's this big guy at the end here? Are you alive? Yep, you're alive. Okay. How do I play this game? Not that one. Oh god. Well. <laughs> probably learn how to play again before we take that guy on. Maybe we'll leave him alone for now. We'll try to figure out platform. We'll get back to combat. Okay. Ball's in there. So these platforms are up now. We can jump across these. A little climbing. These real Jedis like to climb. Break some pots because real Jedis are also vandals. And do a little sliding, because real Jedis like to swing on ropes and fall to their deaths. <laughs> I need a little bit more momentum on this rope. Oh, we got it this time. We better swing the second time around. Didn't he have a blue saber at the start of the game? Yeah, we customized it and made it green. Uh, we changed up his saber, changed up his outfit. Essentially how I'm going for customization is whenever I get a new option, I just put it on. So for example, if we find a purple lightsaber, we'll start using that next. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Wind? Oh. The sea is so fucking dark though. Thought there was a story reason? Nope. Just uh, straight up fashion souls. <laughs> Only one man may have a purple lightsaber, and this ain't Sam Jackson. <laughs> but I want one! Also, rude. Apparently Cal is so light, the wind just carries him. Is there an off switch? Just have to come around the other way. But I can't get back up there, though. It was a one-way slide! Um... Does it, like, pause at any point? Hey, Iron! What's up? Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Yeah, literally, what the heck? How much do you weigh, Cal? <laughs> Cal is like... Apparently, two pounds. He flies like a sheet of paper in the wind. What if I angle it? That might work. If I sort of allow it to blow me towards the platform. Yeah, there we go. Wind physics. Love to see it. Alright, guess we'll do the same thing here. Nice. Alright, I got it now. I got the hang of it now. 
Uh, usually I'm just thinking out loud, uh, Iron, when I... I'm trying to figure something out, but if I actually need help, I will certainly, uh, certainly ask. I forgot about the murder artichokes. Oh, this lightsaber can't solve everything. But wind can. Wind can solve everything, Cal. I think that's a blow up. Yeah. Beautiful. Quick little meditation spot. Oh my god, the murder artichokes are being pulled right out of the ground. Okay, well that's that's one way to get rid of them. Now what? The wind chimes are a wind chiming. Oh god! That one oh god, it hit me in the face! Ah! I hate it. Wind, the murder artichokes one weakness. I actually think I might be able to make that jump now that I have the wind at my back. Let me see. Let's follow the, the artichokes. Yeah! Nice. Alright. Oh no, we got another one of these big guys. My one weakness is murder artichokes, says Mr. X. Now, this guy's only half health for whatever reason, so we'll take it. Ow. Still kicks like a... Motherfucker, though. Oh my god, how much AoE does this stomp have? Oh, He was close. Thank god he only has half health. How in the world am I supposed to kill one when they have full health? <laughs> okay, we gotta get back into the swing of things, you know, parries and all that. Rose, it turns out that the murder artichokes aren't only good for murder, they can be used to advance the plot too. Mr. X's many things that are good for murder are also good for plot advancement. It just depends on how much murder the plot requires. <laughs> Well, that's what I was thinking, Hung, but I don't know how to specifically, like, target their chest. Recommend the Y attack? Alright, we'll give her a try. We're playing on PC, but I, I'm using uh, an Xbox One controller, so... Controls are the same. Can you step on the murder artichokes, please? Artichokes. What? The artichokes didn't blow up! And now he has full health! What hit him before that caused him to only have half health? It must have been the chokes. Come here. Top 10 anime betrayals. Help me! What the fuck? Why? Why you no help me? Him, now. Oh, he has to blow them up himself. Okay. We can do that. Chokes, help me. Blow them up. You hate murder to chokes. You should probably blow them up. Yeah. Oh, no. They blew me up, too. But okay. Murder to chokes are our friends. You just have to time it correctly. All right. Oh. Oh my god. GTFO! Yeah! All right. Round three. Aha! Yeah, okay. The artichokes did hella damage there. He's half health. I hate how much AoE he has. BD1, 
Lost him. He's a hefty boy. He sure is. Got him. Yeah. Woohoo. Now we can scan this guy. Tomb Guardian. Oops, wrong button. Strong, slow, and protected by a central power core. When glowing, the power core may be removed with external force. Ah, so I think that's what you were referring to. Um, once we get the push force power, we will be able to attack his weak point. An ancient automaton constructed by the Zepho. It is believed the Tomb Guardian's central function was to protect sacred sites. As details of their abilities remain mysterious, if encountered, one should proceed with extreme caution. Cold and indifferent, they attack not out of malice or defense, but from a programmed response to intruders. Isn't that defense? <laughs> Known for powerful, unblockable strikes, they can prove especially threatening in limited areas without space to dodge their attacks. Hey, awkward! What's up? Thanks for the follow. Uh, their primary vulnerability appears to be the power core located above their central abdomen. Any disruption of the core should provoke a shutdown. Hey, Power, what's up? I like that they shaped the robots like the Zepho's heads, too. <laughs> yeah, they did, didn't they? They put a lot of thought and care into their robots. You must learn to push it. Push it real good. <laughs> Mirka says, okay, okay, I'm done making fusion. Several cursed are in the spoilers tag. I can't wait to check them out later. Get in there right now. We got wind coming out of here. Can I fly? I believe I can fly. Okay, now we got a combination for float. You made a couple too? <laughs> okay, everyone put your cursed creations in the Discord and I will absolutely check them out after stream. Can I climb? No, nope. it's not a good climb up there. Why do I feel like something's gonna jump out and eat me? Ancient statues. These statues were carved from the natural cavern walls. They depict Zepho holding spheres, possibly the same kind used to power their tombs. Well, fuck you, Zepho, because I'm gonna break all your pots. Oh wait, the Zephyr are all dead, my bad. Still gonna break your pots, though. Just with a bit more respect. This is just Dark Souls level of pot smashing. Yeah, or Legend of Zelda. Pick your game, you gotta smash the pots. It's just video game 101. What is this? Oh god. What sort of cursed dream are you having right now, Cal? Aha! Yes. The Jedi do not seek aggression, but we stand against it. The Force is there to shield us. The obstacles in your path define the path. What stands in the way becomes the way. Now. Try again. RT to push the ball towards the target. Aha! Continue. You got the push now. What do you mean continue? You gotta throw more balls. There we go. Eh. Oh, fuck! It reaches you. <laughs> that smacks me in the face! That thing looks heavy, too! Oh. <laughs> That's a concussion! <laughs> okay. There we go. I got it. I got it. Also, sorry, my mom just texted me and my phone is not on silent. It stands in the way, it comes the way. All right, so we learned push. Push objects and enemies with the force. I did it. I did it, I did it! Just like Jero to Paul taught me. My friend, take a look at the detail on this park. 
the distinctive striations. I love striations. It can only be a tree from Kashyyyk. Of course. It's time to call on an old friend. If the Zetho had contact with Kashyyyk, there is a good chance Chieftain Tarful will know about it. Okay, we have a lead. Love it. That's good. Oh, okay. So we can... When his ball glows, we can push on it. I think. Let's go bother some Wookiees! Aha! Yeah, that's a good interrupt. Oh, look at the damage we're getting in! Oh, yeah. That's the play. Let's see here. Charge up your ball again. Not today, Jose! Yeah! Woo! And we got an epic finisher! <laughs> Perfect. What are you scanning, BD? Ooh, this giant sarcophagus! Ilram sarcophagus. This ancient Zepho sarcophagus holds the remains of Sage Ilram. They were the first of the Zepho to establish a relationship with the inhabitants of Kashyyyk and loved the planet's greenery dearly. Now their remains are forever interred beneath the roots of a stone rosher tree. The W's probably. So. <laughs> okay, before we go forward, I think I can go backward here. These guys went from mini boss to a walk in the park in the span of five minutes, right? What new abilities does for you. Okay, I wanted to go here first. What are you scanning, little dude? Oh, just that giant corpse below us, aka beep boop 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 beep. <laughs> That's my BD. Always on the lookout for dead bodies, even if I'm not. Okay, this is clearly a shortcut of some kind. We need to push that block down, so. This way. It's like in Dragon Ball Z when Goku forgets to go Super Saiyan. <laughs> Suddenly Cal is like, oh yeah, the Force! He has all these repressed memories. I mean, he was literally hit in the head by an 80-pound ball, as we determined. So, uh... He may have some slight brain damage, which may explain why he has completely forgotten everything. Cal has healed his connection with the Force, and therefore new skills are available. Oh my god, a lot of new skills, but I don't have any skill points, so I'm not even gonna look at them. Because it's like shopping when you don't have any money. You can look, but you can't touch. Just a little Star Wars Jedi CTE. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ah, oh! Ah. Oh, I can probably take that off. I forgot I had that on the banned words list, actually. Um, when we were playing God of War Ragnarok, I banned a few words. For example, kills, because I didn't want people to come in and be like, So-and-so kills so-and-so! So we could probably take that off the, uh, the banned words list now. Okay, what do we got here? A swingy rope. Swiggy rope! Just swing. Over here. Oh my god. Literally clipping through the rocks. That's how close I was. Almost fucking up that... That jump. The cinematic kills are cool and made me feel like a Jedi while playing. For sure. Yeah, very cool. This was deliberately destroyed. I can still feel the hate of the act. Someone did that in Melly's stream with usernames. So that's literally the exact thing uh, that happened with me, Mr. X, and why I became so paranoid, I guess, in a sense, when I streamed God of War Ragnarok. So I was going to stream The Last of Us Part 2. And I thought I had done my due diligence, you know, I set it on followers only mode, blah, blah, blah. And literally the exact same thing. People started following me and they had the spoilers in their username, you know. X dies in The Last of Us Part 2. 
And I can't even lie, it genuinely really upset me. I took like a week off Twitch. I didn't play The Last of Us on stream because I was just so upset. Um, so when we played God of War Ragnarok, I was like, oh, hell no, the trolls aren't getting me this time. And I put in all the precautions and it actually worked. We did not get a single spoil. Spoiler? Spoil. <laughs> For God of War Ragnarok. So, so I may have gone overboard, so I know some people were a little bit upset about some of the measures that I put in. But I gotta be honest, I have no regrets because they worked perfectly. Uh... A hint for what? I didn't even know there was a puzzle here! BD! Chill out! Better safe than sorry. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, TS, if you want to go ahead and uh, check the banned words list, and I don't think there's too much there. I banned kills. Um, also, <laughs> thank you, Euro. I'm just glad you guys are here to deal with that stuff, so I don't have to. Because, uh, trust me, I was thinking the exact same thing that you guys are thinking. There's the cinematic kills, yeah. Very cool. I like that a lot. I'll just elevate that to a ban. Dude could not control himself. We were like, excuse me, please don't backseat. And he was just like, but I, you can get forced boy, cause she come up. I shouldn't, I shouldn't make fun, but Jesus Christ. What a Coleman. <laughs> Okay, so we got to get that ball, presumably, up here. Oh, no, wait, that ball could also come down here. Oh, there's many places, okay. In the middle of you talking about how spoilers ruined another game for you. Yeah, luckily I have actually played this game before. I played this game when it first launched. But normally... The spoilers in the back seating really do upset me. It's just... And I know sometimes people can be misled because I do like to talk out loud. I'm like, hmm, what do I do here? Sometimes new people take that as a cue for trying to help. But usually once I tell them once, they're like, oh, okay, that's fine. And then there's other people who are like, nope. I must tell her the solution to every single puzzle. that too. Perhaps I need to ride that to the top like an elevator. Is there a way to like delay this? Oh no, wait a minute. It also opened this door. I didn't even see. Get back in the hole. Yeah. Ah, no, here we go. <laughs> okay, you better watch yourself with those with those hints, tips, and tricks. Unsolicited advice. Your O and TS are heavy on the ban hammers tonight. Completely, completely BS made up spoilers are my forte in a lot of games that Tiff plays. <laughs> Pro tip, round things roll. Wow. That is, that's like profound, almost. <laughs> round things can also crash through things. Alright, so we are back here. And now we have two balls. <laughs> We need to get rid of these ball puzzles, or, or I'm gonna have too many... many memes, aren't I? Just ban BD1 while we're at it. The stupid droid keeps trying to backseat. He gets a pass because he's cute, okay? If y'all were as cute as BD1, I'd let you backseat my game. <laughs> God. 
Okay, what did that do? Oh! Hang on, I think we can climb up there now. In the game High on Life, the gun backseats you? <laughs> hey, Valkyrie. I, I've i seen a little bit of High on Life, and from what I've seen, that game is literally insane. <laughs> I actually- we might have to stream that at some point, because I feel like we'd just be, like, cackling the whole time. Yeah, it's like the Rick and Morty one. Yeah, I want to go back to what I was doing before. I think if I can time this... So this falls in here a little later? We might be able to ride this to the top. The thing is... That's how I do it. I was going to say, the thing is, how do I do it? But we push it and then freeze it and then run to the platform. Uh, freeze. Brilliant! Brilliant! I figured it out. And I got loot as a reward for my big brain plays. What did we find? We found a new BD1 skin. Whoa, we must equip that. Oh, he's a little, little lime green boy now. Looking great, BD1. You made Newton proud with that play. <laughs> this relic is extremely old, but I get the sense it was part of some type of training ritual for Zephyr Force users. Okay, we actually just got a skill point. Let's see, what can we get? So we unlocked a bunch of new force powers, I think. Mass push. Holding push allows Cal to push groups of enemies and stagger large enemies. Enhanced force recovery. Cal regains more force when he defeats an enemy and regains some force when he hits a blocking enemy. Cal's maximum force is increased. Oh my god, there's so many options. I want all of these. Okay, I'm gonna get mass push, just because push is, like, kind of in vogue right now. <laughs> we like pushing everything right now, it's kind of the thing. But... There's definitely a lot of abilities I want to pick up, so... We'll be back for more. Yeah. Guess I probably need to do something with this ball. like jump on it. Hmm. Okay, so there's another How many times have I said ball tonight? There's another ball indentation thing up here. Not quite sure how we'll get to that. Can I break this, I wonder? No. A ball pit, if you will. Yes! <laughs> yes. A McDonald's ball pit. Yeah, so it looks like we need to get the ball... ...up there. I remember I loved the ball pit uh, at McDonald's. I mean, what kid didn't? And then uh, a local news story was that at 
our McDonald's, they found a needle, a used needle, in one of the ball pits. I wasn't allowed to go in anymore after that. So, you know what? Shout out to the person who was injecting drugs in the McDonald's ball pit. Screw you, man. You ruined my childhood. They're also like 25% pee. 25% pee, 25% heroin, but 50% fun. <laughs> I meant to have to ask BD for help, so I don't know what I'm at. Can we uh, unblock that that uh, backseater? He might have some advice. <laughs> All right. Got to be another sphere somewhere. Oh, there another sphere. Okay, that was actually a useful hint. Not too hinty. Not like you know, Tiff, you big fat moron, go to the left. But there is in fact another sphere. That's actually a pretty good hint. I'm I'm okay with that hint. Thank you. More balls! I don't have enough balls! Maybe I can get this one down somehow. Oh! Miley Cyrus Wrecking Ball, folks! I came in like a wrecking ball! Wreck that wall! Bah! Yes! When in doubt, Miley Cyrus will lead you through! <laughs> Woo! All right. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yes, Speedy? He's scanning all these wind chimes. My friend, this tomb is utterly fascinating. It once served as a proving ground for Force-sensitive Zepho sages, but was converted into a space to honor their remains. And yet nothing received greater honor here than the Force itself, the Life Wind, as they call it. It's beautiful to see. Meerkat says, I'm back and this cheese fucking slaps. <laughs> I'm glad- I'm happy to hear that. I'm, I'm happy for you. Right. Now... The next part of the puzzle is to get that ball up there. Oh, there's wind on now! Oh, that'll do it! Easy peasy. I don't know how that wind turned on, but you know what? I'm not going to ask questions. I'm just going to push the ball. Go, ball, go! Yeah! Mysterious wind to- No, stop right there! Ooh, thought I was gonna fall back off. <laughs> stop right now. Ball in the ball pit! Door opened. Except this door leads us right back to where we just were. Oh, and now this chute is opened! So many puzzles! Puzzles don't stop. Okay. Can I take this ball off now? No, we needed that ball for the wind and the ramp. It's an important ball. Let's see if we can use this ball. All balls are important, Tiffy, and best handled with care. <laughs> oh! It went on its own! And it fell off again, you fucking dickhead. Alright, we're gonna have to pause it before it... It's wild. Stop! Oh, I'm not gonna get up there in time. Should have been here before I paused it. Okay, that's fine. It should just loop back around. 
The worst part of the past five days of being sick is my appetite being gone completely. That's the worst. It's like you know food would make you feel better, but at the same time you cannot eat a bite. Totally understand. Yay! We did it! Now yeah, what? <laughs> nope, not what I wanted! Shit. This is really just a big game of mousetrap. <laughs> I loved mousetrap when I was a kid. Whenever I had an opportunity to play mousetrap, you can bet your bottom dollar I was playing mousetrap. I'll get stuck. Oh, no, it was right there. Flew right back. Imagine if this is how you activated the elevator at your apartment complex. <laughs> I would never leave my home. Not that I like leave my home now anyway, but I certainly would not like to if I had to do this shit. Okay. So this brings me here. Can I climb on the ball? So many puzzles. <laughs> you know me, Meerkat. The ball was wiggling? Oh, now I'm behind the chai. Oh, we were already here before. Oh, man. You're right, though. The ball is totally wiggling. Doing okay back there, BD-1? Much better. Hmm. Glow stick is useless. Can't even cut through some random metal. <laughs> right? Why can't I cut through that wind chime? Hmm. Perhaps now I need this ball up in that part. It's the glow stick of destiny. When in doubt, put the balls in various pits. Kind of my game plan here. Oh god, no! Back here. Stop. Oh my god! <laughs> Pretty sure that's how basketball was invented it. <laughs> Oh, it's the wind! Right, Hung, my bad. My bad. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay. We only needed that before, because we didn't have force push. Now we have force push. It's because you keep forgetting to say Kobe. Of course it won't work. <laughs> Is that what I needed? No. That's clearly where I need to go. But... 
I'm too little. Eh. Am I just dumb as rocks? I swear to God, I tried jumping up there so many times and he did not grab the ledge. <laughs> so I thought I was doing something wrong, but apparently he can grab the ledge, so I don't know. Can we just blame Cal on that one? <laughs> not my fault, it's, it's totally his fault, okay? We'll call that a glitch and move on, says <laughs> TS, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, friend. Alright. Let's pretend that never happened. The backseater would have let us know. <laughs> what did that do? Hey, King! Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Ah, the elevator's working. We can escape this mouse trap. It's a miracle. A Wookiee chieftain. An absolute miracle. Think you still around? There's only one way to find out. We have to go to Kashyyyk. Get me out of this mouse trap. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Yay! Light! It's a miracle. I feel like there will be more ball puzzles in your future. How dare you wish such a thing upon me, Mr. X? We're like, why I have to go to Kashyyyk? Freaking why? <laughs> All right, we are back. So that's a. Uh... Did we just open the way for the Empire? Potentially. Oops. Ran the way, fight our way out. Oh, that's new. Okay. Maybe we can do a little stealthy stealth. Up there. Ah, fuck. And my stealthy stealth failed. <laughs> At least we took one guy out in the process. Um, okay, I'm gonna need you to- Whoa! He shot a rocket and it went into the air. That was pretty cool, actually. Hello! Oh, that's so fun! Just flying on one of the vents? That's very fun. Yes, I am gonna kill you all. Why can't I? There we go. Oh, didn't get me high enough. The mid-air deflection kill? You can just ta call me a pro gamer. Get rid of this guy, though. Let's see. Whee! I'll stick to calling you Tiff. <laughs> Boo! Nice. All right. I love how Cal did the hair smooth after he took out all those soldiers. All right, Cal, keep it in your pants. The ladies are thirsty enough as they are. For your ginger locks. Getting a strange feeling from this one. Ancient Zepho gathered here. I wonder why. 
Oh, I didn't even think about that power. I probably can push on the rockets. I, it didn't even cross my mind. I'll do that next time for sure. I just did? Oh, I didn't even mean to. I meant to just push him off the ledge. <laughs> so, that works too, I guess. Oh, thanks, Tara. <laughs> All right. They are taken care of. We got our collectible. It's GTFO. Where am I? Ooh. Skating rink. If I just took out a squad of stormtroopers while air dashing around, I would probably do the hair smooth too. <laughs> it was just perfect timing. What is this? Continue excavating. I want rare artifacts, not useless trinkets. Drone for a slide. Whee! Wee! Oh, this is fun. Wee! Oh man, this is so cool. Oh yeah, Cal's just showing off now. Hell yeah, that was a great parkour sequence. All right, that was fun as heck. What is this? Oh, an elevator. Training for the Jedi X Games, right? Parkour, parkour! Hey, Riz, what's up? I didn't even mean to step immediately on this elevator. I didn't realize it was an elevator. I'm doing well, thank you very much. How is Riz today? Welcome back to Star Wars. We made it out of the... Eternal Mousetrap, a.k.a. the Zepho Ruins. And, uh, we're now riding the Eternal Elevator, by the looks of it. Oh, it opened on the other side. Oh, I think this is a shortcut. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Am I going around in circles? Potentially. Potentially. Ooh, but I got loot, so it's totally worth it. It's a little spelunking. Oh, something was in there. New mantis paint job acquired. Charisma. Uniqueness, nerve, and talent? Any RuPaul's Drag Race fans in the chat? <laughs> okay, let's go back the way I came before I get lost in these dark pits. So wait, this is the way I was before. Yes. Oh, and now we have an elevator so we can do the elevator instead of the epic parkour. Who in their right mind would choose elevator over epic parkour? I'm going for round two, baby. <laughs> let's -a go I would take a full Jedi parkour game. Like, you know, like an SSX tricky, but it's just Cal doing this. I would, ta I would take a full game of this. You can't parkour back up? Okay, touche. The elevator does have its uses. Oh. Alexa, play the Rainbow Road OST. <laughs> I think Cal had an arm cramp there. That's why he missed the rope the first time. <laughs> All right, we made it to the ice caves. Mirror's Edge, but with Jedi. Yeah. The nope rope strikes again. 
<laughs> the nope rope. I love that. Troopers. I hear him, but I don't see him. Oh! I see that guy, though. Hi! That didn't do anything. Oh, that. Ow. The man fucking drop kicked me. Get east him. I can't freeze him either. He's too thick. Wow, that's an ugly motherfucker. It's called a Jotaz. Strong but slow. Strike after dodging any attack. Rapid strikes and or unconventional attacks will enrage and confuse the creature. What? Shelly's alive? I just was like, and I was like... Just moving and grooving. I don't know where the fuck he's been for two weeks. Okay, guys. It's story time. You may have just heard the news. Shelly is alive. Well, who's Shelly, you may ask? Sit back, relax. It's time for story time. So we have uh, a little guppy. His name is Aloysius, Al for short. And he's a sweet little dude in a little tank, and we wanted to get him a friend. So uh, we went to the pet store, and we asked what, you know, little critter would, would do well with Aloysius. And they suggested a... Alana? What kind of snail is uh, Shelly? Narrate snail. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I had to phone a friend. So we got ourselves a Narrate snail, okay? Narrate, he, he's itty bitty, very, very tiny snail. So it's a small, a small little fish, small little snail. Perfect. They lived happily ever after. So Sheldon, the the snail, aka Shelly for short, and Aloysius uh, were coexisting happily. Everything was fine. About it's got to be at least a week, maybe even two. Minimum seven days ago, we could not see Shelly in the tank, and we didn't panic at first because he is very small, and we have like gravel and you know and. and and plants and stuff in the tank, so it's quite easy for him to sort of hide, hide away. So the first day, when I couldn't find Shelly, we weren't too panicked. You know, Shelly's taking a nap in the cave, we'll see him. And then day two happened. Then, then day three happened. Then day four. It has been seven days since we last saw Sheldon alive. We actually even cleaned out the tank last night to make sure his corpse wasn't, like, tucked away somewhere, okay? <laughs> Could not find Shelly anywhere. <laughs> hey, Death. Death says, were you thinking of putting Al on trial for the murder of Shelly? Not even a joke. We said, like, Al must have ate, ate Shelly. Which is completely impossible because Al is about this big. But we were like, there's no other option. Like, Shelly is not in this tank. Anyway, you heard the news. Alana just opened the door and said Shelly is alive. Apparently, he's in the tank, living his life. Where has he been for the last seven days? I have no idea. Shelly is back. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a miracle. <laughs> I feel like you're skipping the part where previous shelled friends were lost to the filter. Well, no, we've never lost uh, a snail to the filter, but we looked online and it said that sometimes because the Nerite snails are so small, they crawl down into the filter, and then, uh-oh, Shelly got squished. Um, so we figured that's where he was when we cleaned out his tank. Either A, Al had eaten him somehow, or B, he had crawled down in the, in the filter and suffered a horrible death. Um, but apparently he's alive! I Like, 
That's, you guys have the same amount of information I have. Atlanta just came through the door and told me Shelly's alive. He's been missing for a week. He might have just like left, went on a little vacation, came back. I have no idea. Um, it, but it's, it's a late Christmas miracle. <laughs> Shelly took a vacation and comes back wondering why everyone's so convinced he had died. I feel like we're gonna need an Al and Shelly home visit to make sure everything is a-okay. <laughs> yeah, Shelly went got a job driving Ubers. <laughs> That is incredible. I'll have to send you guys a picture of, of Al and Shelly now, uh, later on, but, uh... That's- that's pretty freaking incredible. Coming this spring to Disney Plus, it's Shelly's week off! <laughs> that is absolutely incredible news. Wow, okay. So glad, uh... Shelly is alive, and, uh, now we can get back- get back to our game, and this ugly motherfucker. Missing an arm. There's a face only a mother could love. Okay, now where were those poopers? Oh, that's gonna crack. The MK270 Imperial Pulverizers are crucial for Project Augur as the icy barriers in Zepho's cave systems require an incredible amount of power to break through. Even the Empire's specialized saws are not sufficient to break through this ice on their own. Hopefully they don't break through it while I'm standing underneath it. Shelly's day out! Shelly thinks it's only been a day as things move so slow, cause snail, but it's actually been a week. <laughs> so funny, I cannot believe- like, where has he been? It's at this time where if I could have any superpower in the whole world, it would be the ability to talk to animals, so I could say, Shelly, what the fuck, man? Where- where were you? trying to hide a relic down here. There was a cave-in. She became trapped and never escaped. <laughs> Power says, haha, eat shit, Officer Crane! <laughs> no sympathy for Officer Crane here, folks. You'll have to carry out a thorough interrogation, for sure. What if Shelly was just playing hide-and-seek? But though you guys were never actually looking for him, so he came out. <laughs> oh, she was the one who was breaking Zepho artifacts earlier. Power's paying uh, closer attention to the lore than I am. Shelly definitely won hide-and-seek, yeah, if that was the goal. Sheldon, you, you won, man. Shelly learned the power of astral projection and decided to visit another aquarium. <laughs> he could have left a no, you know? Like, okay, I'm gonna try pushing out, pushing their rockets back at them. Okay, that didn't work. Is it just because I timed it incorrectly? Oh, it's because I'm out of force. Do this the old-fashioned way. Maybe he did leave a note, but his handwriting is so small you couldn't see it. You're out of web fluid. <laughs> okay, let me try that again. Oh no, do we have to kill this big fatty again? Oh, come on! Really? You can't just call them fatties. Do we need to bring back the hate crime command? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I should have just called him an ugly motherfucker. <laughs> this guy would do great in Elden Ring. Just dodge, attack. Uh. <laughs> 
got killed by fucking Bran. Is this a FromSoft game? That camera did something wild. I mean, pretty much. Thanks. It's uh, from software with a Star Wars coat of paint. Pretty much Jedi souls. All right, let's try this one more time. You stupid bull, Ram. Ow. I'm trying not to use any of my force because I want some left over <laughs> for this guy. I probably could have used a little bit, I guess, but. Okay, that didn't work. Again, not sure if it's because I'm a dummy, or... Yeah, I think I just need to time it right. I don't I don't have the timing. Aha! Third time's the charm! That's how you get rid of those guys. That was fun. Success! Aha! And now for some celebratory parkour. Oh, I should have just pushed him off the ledge. If I had my time back, I would. You dickhead. I'm gonna never do that whole section again. Maybe this is a From Software game. Oh my god, we're just gonna be doing the same part all night long. Fuck! Okay, this time I will be taking the elevator once we've defeated the troopers, because presumably that will be an autosave. And we'll do the parkour after. Need a step. Sorry. Sorry for the language, everybody. Just these rams are driving me crazy! They're just mad they didn't make the playoffs. <laughs> Drum roll was really delayed, but it was it was good joke. Yeah, all right. I've done all I can. All right, let's take this elevator. Like I said, presumably. I'm under an imperial dig site. Quick save me. It got a lot further than we thought. We can't worry about that now. The Empire's identified you as the Jedi from Braca. They're searching for the Mantis as we speak. Can't you move the Mantis? It's too risky to start the engine. Its power discharge will draw their attention immediately. I'll be back as fast as I can. I'm on the way! It's a long elevator ride. Everyone is very excited, and then we've come up with a whole bunch of, like, movie and TV premises. Shelly's week was. away. Yep. He's been missing two weeks. And we cleaned out the tank last night. Yes. I'm just shocked. Could not believe it. Shocked and appalled. And I was like... Oh. Cruise along. Like, <laughs> like nothing is wrong. Doesn't know that we've been worrying about him for the past <laughs> week. Being a mother is difficult. Oh, hi! Muff's here! We can get a new skill. Yes, we can! Do you have any skills? 
No? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna increase my maximum force. So I can push more people. What? Hi, Boo Boo. I love you. Now, we have that. We have this. She has the most important school of all, cute as a button. And by school, I mean skill. Birds are hard. Now, before we get back to the ship, I actually want to go back down and go through that parkour area. Except, apparently, this elevator is only one direction. Can I go this way? Yeah. Oh, I could if I had timed it better. Hey, Morgan! Muffin is here! Yeah! Oh. Muffin's just chillin', watching me try to parkour down this ice. She's my number one cheerleader. <laughs> Whee! Oh, this is where this leads us. Okay. Do that again. We're gonna let them fight. I'm not gonna get in the middle of that. We're gonna parkour over this way. What's going on, Morgan? Good to see you. Nothing you want to say hi to Morgan? Oh, I was hoping I might get a meow out of her. Nothing is pretty photogenic. Me and Alana threaten her daily and say one of these days she's gonna have to start working on uh, as a model or only kittens, you know, whatever. Whatever she wants to do, her body, her choice, but she needs to sell her body in some way, shape, or form. It's too cute to not be taken advantage of. <laughs> only paws. She can sell bean pics on the internet, you know? I just need her to start contributing to rent. It's been five years now and you have contributed, contributed no rent to this family. What do you have to say for yourself? You've contributed in cuteness. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> now, where did this bring us? Some more troopers. Hi! Ooh, there's a black one! He looks like he's probably more badass. Ow! Ow! Target down. Let's report in. He was more badass. I pay my rent in mouse catching, Mom. You say you haven't seen any mice? I do wonder why. <laughs> Instagram influencer by this time next year or get the fuck out. <laughs> Is she at least pulling decent grades in kitten school? She gets an A plus in cuddles. Puss in boots. Uh, eye posing. Yeah. I give you an A plus in all kitten skills. Also, fuck whatever's down there. I'm going back to the ship. I just don't care at this point. <laughs> I'm over this planet. Goodbye. I love how she just sits there while I'm playing. She's like perfectly, perfectly on the camera. Just hanging out. A little baby. Oh. Cal, we've got a walker firing on us and our weapons are down. I see. Is that him? Tell him he better get his butt. Hold on, I'm on my Do way. Do we have to fight that? Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Oh. Okay, can I just keep reflecting its shots back at it? Yeah, stay away and do this. Corey says A plus in every course except knowing how to be picked up for more than 10 seconds. Yeah, good point. So I... It's really funny, Muffin is like constantly wants attention, as you guys can probably know. When I'm not in here gaming, like if I'm sitting on the couch, she's on my lap. In bed, she's on my chest, like she's constantly wants cuddles. But she wants cuddles at her uh, discretion. She hates being picked up, which is 
like I said, kind of hilarious, because normally she's like, I can't get close enough to you. But not when it comes to being picked up. She hates being picked up. It's the one thing she hates. She wants cuddles on her own time. Sounds like a cat. Okay, this isn't so bad, actually. You just reflect the bolts. Yeah, we got this. Luna despises being picked up, yeah. It's really cat-dependent, I think. Some cats are fine with it, but... Muff is not. Ah, yeah, we can throw the rockets back, too. Crunch says wait till you fight two at the same time. I'm just gonna focus on my solo... solo fight for now. <laughs> hey, Greens! It's going well! We're currently fighting an ATST, as you can probably see, which is pretty cool. But I'm really good at reflecting bolts. This guy will be down before we know it. Yeah! ATST defeated with a rocket. Oh! There was a guy inside! <laughs> Not for long, though. Seriously, if the ATST uh, shots didn't hurt me, you thought your little. Shot from your little blaster rifle was gonna hurt me. First try! Woohoo! Yeah! Go us! It's teabag, it's corpse. This is. this is. <laughs> this is how Cal teabags. <laughs> he likes going real spread eagle. <laughs> I'm staying in the cockpit until the guy who just took down my giant murder robot solo takes off. You're smarter than the average Imperial troop, Mr. X. <laughs> Alright, we made it back. Nice work out there, kid. Hey, you got some real moves on you. <laughs> just tell me that this visit wasn't for nothing. I found the tomb of a Zepho Sage. They definitely used the force. An advanced civilization of force wielders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Before they disappeared, the Zeppo journeyed to the planet Kashyyyk. Oh. Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe we can find him. Kashyyyk, I look, things are really bad down there. The, the Empire's muscling in on those Wookiees big time. So we better get ready for a fight. Oh. I think this lifestyle suits you. Fighting that walker seems to have made you more confident. So, how are you holding up? I mean, with the Force? Yes, with the Force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. I haven't gotten myself killed yet. I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, well, I understand. More than you realize. Well, why'd you choose to stop using the Force? When the purge started, and our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several younglings and we went into hiding. But we didn't last long. The Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings. But they caught me. And they tortured me. They wanted to know about the others and how many were left, but mostly they wanted to know about Cordova and where he went. But you escaped. No. It was a prison riot. I saw my opportunity and I took it. But they almost broke me. And I am not the same as I was, Cal. Your Padawan. Did she survive? No. But that's why we can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. Hey, Ice! Merry Tiffuse Day. I like that. It's my favorite day of the week. All right, so now we're back on the ship. We got ourselves a little breather. We can talk to Sarah a little Please. bit more if we want. I'm trying to collect my thoughts. Never mind, she doesn't want to. 
you have any seeds? We have Kalpi, which is growing. Royal Fluzz, which is not growing. Beautiful. We've got a giant uh, instant pot of something. Two plums. A whole lot of cereal. And uh, some... Well, we're gonna hope that's chalk. It said we had a skill point we could spend. Sure, olives. Let's call them olives. <laughs> Never mind, we don't have a skill point. I totally made that up. I feel like we do have new lightsaber parts, though. We haven't customized our lightsaber in a hot minute, so let's do that. That's what it looks like right now. Don't have any new colors. Maybe we'll switch it up, though. Let's, let's go orange for a bit. Just pick the coolest looking ones. Ooh, Dura Steel. Nice. So wait, Instapots still exist in this future and universe. Remind me to invest in an Instapot. <laughs> Really? You beat up an ATST and they couldn't give you one lousy skill point? That's what I'm saying. I could have swore I got a skill point for that, but you know, apparently not. All right. Yeah, you and me. We're unstoppable together. What do you add you think, kid, to this, huh? Grease? The man is in Greece, every time perfect landing. You could say that. Ever piloted a ship before? No, mostly just scrapper transports and Braca. Oh, kid, you gotta get in the cockpit sometime. Feel the controls in your He's the hands, pilot? Yeah, but do you remember his landing grass. last time? Oh, it's unbelievable. Just broke all my bones. Sounds good. Let me know when. Huh? No, not mine. Not the man is, no way. I'm just saying you should try it sometime. But with someone else's ship. Oh, okay. Thanks for the offer, Grease. Appreciate you. Anything else to check out? Or we use the hollow table? I think we're good. Hey, BD! Oh, BD, you're so cute! I would die for you, BD. Where are we headed? Where are we headed? Where would you guys like to head? We can head to Dathomir, Pagano, Kashyyyk. I gotta be honest, I kind of want to go to Kashyyyk. I mean, Wookiees, right? Plus, that's kind of the lead that we're following right now, to locate Tarful on Kashyyyk. Yeah, let's go to Kashyyyk. The world of the walking carpets. Is Mexico an option? <laughs> I think Kashyyyk's pretty warm. Love? You? Yeah, you think a guy like me doesn't know love? I bet you're gonna tell me. Let me tell you. It's the best, but a lot of work. It needs admiration, devotion, attraction, and respect. Wow, this Grease monologue on love. Yeah, well, it comes with experience. <laughs> Can't look this good and not steal a few hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Get it, Grease. Hope you find yourself a four-armed right, person to fall in love with. Kashyyyk is a tropical jungle. I imagine it would be sweltering. Yeah, kind of like the rainforest. Wait, this is Bagano. Did I click at the wrong part on the map? I could have swore I hit Kashyyyk. Well... Guess we're turning this ship around. Not bad. Yeah, now you're thinking, let's get out of here. Well, yeah, because I thought I pressed Kashyyyk the first time. Kashyyyk. Travel. We're just letting him practice his landings. <laughs> Touche, TS. Come out of hiding? Mm, what makes you think there are a Jedi hiding? No, 
Just this is what happens when you misbehave. Tiff has to go and turn this ship right around. <laughs> well, growing up, we heard tales of a green, pointy-haired, legendary Jedi Master, and... Are you talking about Master Yoda? Yes, he is very legendary. Wait, what? Who? No, no, I'm talking about Master Yaddle. <laughs> Jedi High Council member? Yeah. Yaddle! Okay, let me have mine. <laughs> no problem. That's hilarious. Glad Yaddle's no, getting some kid, screen time. To land. Oh shit, that's not good. Oh, tell me we're not running that blockade. Oh, only as a last resort. I break the Mantis's transponder to transmit Imperial signals. Hey, Grease. Yeah. Keep your power signature low and act like we belong. Just like Bracca. No, that's right. Reshipping Grease and Yaddle? I don't need another set of hands. Just please keep your eye on the scanner. All right. Please. All right. Imagine if Grogu is Grease and Yaddle's baby. I don't see anything. They're preoccupied with something on the ground. We're clear. This looks good. Graphically, this is very nice looking. That doesn't look good. Oh, never mind. Cal says he hates it. <laughs> that looks like garbage, actually, Tiff. God. been enslaved or displaced. Do they not have air traffic control? Apparently not. Guerrilla fighters. Wookiees and off-worlders ambushing an Imperial convoy. Walker's approaching their position. Tarful could be with them. Tarful could be anywhere. Like, deep in the ground, like we're gonna be if we get caught up in that battle down there. We don't have any other options. And, and we'll die without our help. So what's your plan? Sabotage. We used to scrap walkers on Bracca. I'll just jack one. <laughs> get a load of the kid. He thinks we're back in a Clone Wars. Captain, get us near those walkers. Wait, what? Listen, those walkers double as troop transport, so once you get inside, be careful. No freeze grease to work this magic. Random stoner. Hey, What's up? Hello, welcome. Thank you for the Stay raid. Right, Hello, Bin Reaper. Thanks for the follow. Right, welcome on in, fun. guys. We're about to do an epic maneuver onto Kashyyyk. Oh, you were just playing uh, Jedi Fallen Order as well. Awesome. You Hope you're enjoying it. Wahoo! All right, that's one way to land on the planet. Good thing BD's waterproof. <laughs> Look at his little head, he's so cute! I love him! Brits McGee, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. You ready to do this? Whoa! That was close. This is gonna be epic. I think this thing is covered in vines, so we can just climb up the side of him. How do we get on top? Climb, Cal, climb! It really is a good looking game, isn't it? Yeah, it's not that old, but even still, it, it has aged well. Uh, where am I jumping from here, though? Uh... I think I need to get... Aha, there we go. Maybe you should have thought of how do you get in before you jumped, right? Step one, jump out okay. of airplane. Step two, figure out how to get in. We're almost halfway there in terms of camouflage. Yeah, BD's green and Cal's yellow are kind of good right here. 
It's a fuck it, we ball approach. <laughs> More of a do first, think later type of gamer. <laughs> Hey, pool, what's up? Welcome. We are climbing up a walker right now. It's pretty, pretty epic. I guess like I need to like go down and around the back. Nope. Or I just fell off completely. Well, let's try that again. Just gives us more opportunity to climb up this walker. I'm not even mad. Jedi fallen over! <laughs> That's good. Here we go. This should work. Or not? Can I... How the fuck do I get on the top? It's just bringing me around the same way. Oh, it must be in the front there. I went past it the first time, I think. Like I said, I'm just giving y'all more walker parkour time, that's all. There we go. Oh! Well, that did my job for me. things. Where am I going? Gotta give us a view of all angles. See how much work the devs put in. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I was doing. Speaking of how much work the devs put in, look at this room, hey? Fancy. Fancy, huh? You love looking at every corner of it? What am I supposed to do? Cut these? Cut these? No. Sit down and belt up? Looks like it's a speeder bike right here. Oh! Nice subtle hint power. Nice. There's no pulse. Your turn to report fatalities. Hi, I've got a few more fatalities for you to report. guys. Ouch. Reading a new ship on scanners. They brought more firepower than we thought. How's our hull looking? Badly damaged. We're at 70% integrity in falling. That should still be enough to stop out these insurgents. Keep us... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Good job, BD. The ultimate distraction. Report, what's happening over there? You're in violation of Imperial Protocol 207. Stand down or we will <laughs> Let's do this. I gotta be honest, I completely forgot about this part. This part is very cool. 
That's the blasters. Do I not want to take this other one down? It's impenetrable, apparently. Aim a little higher? Alright. Ah, yeah, okay. Hung knows how to take down a walker. Boom, there she goes. I love how BT's just kicking things like, uh, Cal? Everything's on fire. BD is just doing his best. Who are you? Hi, who the fuck are you? Who are you? Someone making the empire angry. We're based on the You're gonna get shot just on my windshield like that. Copy that. Let's make him even angrier. The movie is misleading. The weak spot isn't the legs after all, right? That's why I was going for the legs. BD is the best co-pilot. Oh my goodness, couldn't get that one out. Sorry. Blow it all up! Like someone's fighting with us. I see some other blaster shots coming from somewhere. I guess it was that guy who was just on our windshield. He's doing some good damage here. Goodbye, X Wings. Oh, hello, big ship. And our rockets can't handle Hey BD. Yeah! The BD Mobile, motherfuckers! It's headed for us. Can we do anything? Uh oh. Ah! Shit. Is it impossible to lose this segment? I have no idea. Maybe. I feel like it would be less epic if you died while in the yeah, walker, okay. so... You alright? Maybe. No, we are not doing that again. <laughs> you just wrecked a perfectly good walker. Got a name? Cal Kestis. Saw Guerrero. What are you doing on Kashyyyk? Looking for somebody. What are you doing here? My companions and I came to Kashyyyk to disrupt and peel supply lines. So, who are you looking for? A Wookiee chieftain named Tarful. Tarful is impossible to find. There's a reason he's evaded the Empire for this long. He's a freedom fighter? He's THE freedom fighter. A symbol of the Wookiee resistance. Striking at the Empire from the Shadowlands. Huh. See her? Grease? This is Saul. How you doing? What do you want with Toph? Jedi business. Jedi are dead. Not all of them. <clears throat> you get that over corpse? The master gave it to me. This pad supports an imperial refinery that runs on Wookiee slave labor. Intel suggests that some of the captains there are guerrilla fighters. I should help them. One of them might know how to contact Toph. It's possible. Oh, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. The Manus works wonders. I mean, it's a great ship, excellent pilot, but it is not built for close support. We'll stay here and monitor Imperial transmissions. With a bit of luck, we'll intercept any distress calls. Appreciate it. 
My lieutenants and I will scout ahead to prepare the attack. Join us when you're ready. Go, go. All right. Finally got ourselves a skill point. Glad you're all right. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you too. This place is a dump. <laughs> the plan worked. And now you want to follow Saul. You don't? You don't like that idea? I'm concerned you're jumping from one risk to the next. Wait, what? I fly Yes, no worries, Random. Thank you very much for the raid. Enjoy your dinner. And uh hopefully you enjoy the next time you're playing as well. Not choose it for you. So here's my advice. The Empire's overtaken hundreds of worlds. There's a reason Saw chose Kashi. Maybe he loves Saw's Wookiees. Goals may not be the same as ours. Maybe he's a careful. Wookiee lover. Thanks. Sarah, have you thought about that? that in mind. Come on. Don't judge. Speaking of Wookiees. Hi. She's in no condition to fight. Uh, you're right. There's no time. Stay strong until we get back. <laughs> Heard Saw's hoping to find some news of Tarful at the refinery. A hey, we got ourselves a Vi raid. What is going on, everybody? Welcome on in. We need some confetti falling from the sky, although it appears to be very framey confetti. What the hell? What was wrong with my confetti? I gotta try that again. Oh, there. We nope. Oh. Uh. Okay. The, the the confetti is so excited to see you guys that it, it can't even cleanly rain down from the sky. What is going on, everybody? Hello, Dorian. Hello, Vi. Hey, Panda. What is going on? I hope you had a wonderful stream. If you guys aren't following my friend Vi Beat Food, change that immediately. He's a great streamer. Hope you guys had a lovely evening. And uh, welcome to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. We just had quite the entrance here on Kashyyyk. We walked this walker. This one right here that is currently just a pile of rubble, but we walked it right into this base and it was a very epic cinematic moment. And uh, now we gotta we gotta help out the Wookiees. You had a great time? Excuse me, sorry. Excellent. Glad to hear it. You were playing Warzone, I see. We got ourselves a new poncho. Rainforest poncho. So uh, my thing with with different um customizations that we found in this game is every single time I find a new one, I just equip it. So if you're wondering wh why did you equip this one? It's because it's new. And we like to keep Cal on the cutting edge of fashion. So if the poncho is new, it means it's fashionable. It means we must wear it. You gotta keep it new, always. <laughs> Alright. It's dead guys over here. Oh, wait, nope. Just beyond the dead guys. Loot! Except we can't open it yet, damn it. Alright, let's take Cal and his fresh poncho this way. Jedi fashion order, exactly. Exactly. Oh! Oh god, that was an explosion. Anything goes wrong with this plan, we're finished. Mari's mapped out the nearest garrisons. The Empire won't have time to send reinforcements. We'll be okay. If we can do it quick. Saw's so seen us through worse. I've got nothing but respect for that man, but this isn't a forest skirmish. I hope we're ready. Okay. Hopefully we'll get more details about this plan. What'd you find, BD? Oh, guns! BD, you are not old enough. You can scan, but you can't touch. Good job. A weapon cache. These specialized Imperial flamethrowers must have been modified to more effectively incinerate Kashyyyk's wildlife. Oh! Yes, more effectively incinerate it all, of course. Of course, of course. Get through there. Saw should be at the other end of this trench. I love a good forest trench. The fuck? What is this thing? I mean, it's not trying to eat, actively eat me, so I guess it's a friend. 
Oh, it's a monkey with a creepy face! Wow, that is a good angle. I'm scared if I try to cut these ropes, I'm gonna kill monkey. No, we're good. Alright. Live your life, monkey. Looks like a technician's bench. Just a normal monkey demon, NBD. Oh my god! Oh my god, that is my worst nightmare! Oh my god, I hate every second of that! That was disgusting and I hate it so much! Wow, that really scared me! Also have no health and I think he's trying to web me. You need to die, you're gross. Ah! <laughs> right, TS? I didn't love that either. I Bring back the monkey man. That Spider-Man was gross. Tiff sings when she's nervous. <laughs> it's true. That's how I deal with uh, jump scares by giant spiders. I try to sing the pain away. Okay, well. At least we can't get jump scared for a second time, right? Right? Did you say Zephyr? I used to live there before the Empire came. Do you know it? Yeah, I've been. It's horrible what happened. We weren't able to fight back. But here, with the Wookiees, we have a chance. Thank you for standing with us. <laughs> TS says, I have a newfound understanding towards the Empire and their desire to incinerate the planet. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, is it too late for me to switch sides? Because, uh... I, I might want to join Team Empire. They got flamethrowers. Cal, okay, pick one of these up. You're gonna need it where we're going. Oh, did you want me to read the, the gonk? Droid entry? Data bank. Uh, characters? Oh, you just love gonk droids. Okay, good, because I don't know where the gonk droid uh, <laughs> entry is. So. Just one giant spider and you're down for Wookiee genocide. That's all it takes. If the Wookiees just stay away from the fire, they don't have to die. Where does this spider even come from? Oh, I hate it. Okay, I know it's there. I'm not going to be afraid. Don't be afraid. Oh, wait a minute. If I don't step on the web, does it not come? Also, ew. Oh my god, that's a lot of eggs. Oh! How much current can you conduct? Give BD one a little upgrade in a spider-free environment. Imperial tech. Beautiful. Spider-free environment. Overcharge. BD one can now turn machinery on and off. out of here before that spider comes back. Fuck yeah. Goodbye. Oh, we're back to, to Mr. Monkey. Wait, I want to go this way then. Wait just a minute. Because I'm really scared the spider's going to come back at some point when I'm not expecting it. Hey, Jim! I mean, sleep is important, but so is Star Wars, right? I feel like if I avoid that sticky patch, I might avoid the spider. I think I, I think I learned the trick. Either that, or it was just a one-time jump scare. If you die at the spider, we won't even bother spawning it again because we can't get you twice. Whatever the trick is, I don't care because we got to avoid the spider. So I will call it a victory. You think, BD? 
Gotta jolt this thing. Right. Now, oh, what are these? I like how I refreshed my Twitter and it just now told me Tiff was live. Who knew? <laughs> helpful Twitter is helpful. Thank you, Twitter. Oh, wow. And thank you, Cal, for that magnificent piece of jumping. Cal, what is wrong with your arms? He almost missed it a second time. Discord has yet to tell me Tiff is live. <laughs> Blame the bots, not me, guys. Sap refinery lies dead ahead. What does the Empire want with tree sap? Nothing good. They refine the sap into a powerful compound, and they're rushing it to expand production. We have to stop them. That's the plan. We don't know they're in game, but they spread themselves too thin. This map we recovered proves it. <laughs> Refineries double as brutal prison camps. We use those cutters to create a distraction while you take your lightsaber and free the Wookiees inside. We need their help to stop the Empire. Understood. Watch yourself in there. Okay, that's a badass exit. All right, so I see you. Use my help. Come on, buddy. All right. Time for us to free the Wookiees. Before we do that, my dad texted me. Oh, and my mom. What is going on? My dad's a Miami's, Miami Dolphins fan, so he uh, sent me this bit of Miami Dolphins trivia, which I didn't need. Actually, this is actually kind of a cool football fact. All three Florida teams have made the playoffs in for the third time in NFL history and the first time in 23 years since the 1999-2000 season. Dolphins... Bucks and Jags all made the NFL playoffs, and my dad wants to rub it in my face because the Pats didn't make the playoffs. Cool fact, Dad. The Patriots made the playoffs 19 out of 20 consecutive years. Should send him back that. <laughs> oh, I think he was just trying to send me a fun fact. Hard to say. Ooh. Imperial Refinery. Oh. That's a big tree. Before we get going, I guess we'll meditate. I think I finally got a skill point to spend. I've been saying I had a skill point for, like, ever. I only just actually got one. Now, what do I want to get? Oh my god, there's so many good options. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go real basic and increase my maximum life points. Tom Brady only has one weakness. NFC East teams who are seven plus point underdogs. <laughs> cough, cough, the Saints. You got the Discord notification? Better late than never, I suppose. All right. I mean, I have 100% agree. One of the cutters turned on. Are they running some kind of drill? Maybe. 
Brady won his Super Bowl with the other team. He proved that it wasn't just Belichick that got him all his Super Bowls. He w went somewhere else and won, had a fun time, and you know, in Tampa Bay. All the sun and the heat and got drunk and tossed the Lombardi trophy on a boat. You know, he had his fun in the sun. He should have retired and went with his family, man. I like I feel bad for him, but at the same time, I can only imagine his wife. He's like, yeah, I'm retiring. And she's like, yay, finally, you've been playing football for 10,000 years. And then three weeks later, he's like, LOL, JK, I just unretired. And she's like, what? But I just planned a family vacation, you dumbass. So, yeah. He he should have took his trophy and ran. I, I really wish he had stayed retired, too. Oh! I don't want to kill the droid! Okay, I don't have to kill the droid. Good. Some real Jedi fighting right there. So he puts on Super Bowl 52 and 56 hats at the same time. <laughs> is on the one hand, I get it. He's one of the top players of all time in the sport. And if the man wants to play, he's going to play. Yeah, well, that's the thing, right? And clearly he can still play at a top level, too. He's still arguably the best quarterback in the league at 45, but there also has to come a point when you just say, when do I go out on top? You know what I mean? Or is he just going to play till he's washed? Because I hate good players who play for too long and then they go out on bottom, you know? But anyway, we got an epic fight coming up here. This is what I've trained for. Who are you? Purge Trooper. I'll annihilate you. Oh God! The fuck was that? Graphic attack. Help! Hey, you play until they sit you for Geno Smith. Everyone knows how this goes. <laughs> And then Geno Smith goes on to break Seahawks records. Man, shout out to that guy. He put up a good fight. Go through there? But what about back here? Oh, I can't go back here. No, 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 I can. What's over here, though? Hang on. Over here looks like potential collectibles. So I must investigate. Oh, just a meditation circle. Well, still good because we need to rest. Although I wonder if that's gonna respawn staff guy. It respawned those guys. You didn't see anything. What are you talking about? Easy peasy lemon easy. Oh, yeah, that guy did respawn. All right. Over here, Jedi. Show me 
your skill. That's it for you. Stop running. Focus, Jedi. Come on, attack me. This is a Jedi? Is dodging. Gotcha. Hey, I'm gonna skill point. Nice. Alright, now we can squeeze through this little crack. I'm coming to rescue you, Wookiees! I never seem to get bored with the combat in this game. There's something so satisfying about it. Yeah, it's like both fun to play and also like cinematic to watch. You know what I mean? Looks good Time and feels it. good. Huh, That's what she said? Oh. Flame beetles, they're coming through the walls. Hit their There's the flamethrowers we've heard so much about. Lovely. Flamethrowers aren't much trouble when you get up close. They are literally called flame troopers. Fitting name, I suppose. Important question, can you force push the flamethrower? That is an important question. All right, next bunch of uh, flame troopers. We see, we will we will try that. You sure you want to plug into this thing? Okay. Oh. Oh. Yay. Oh, well. shortcut. That's why you wanted to move this thing. Yeah, BD's a genius. You had no idea that I think we need there. to test this for science. I just wanted to turn that cutter on. use this one on this. Agile deflection. Cal automatically deflects blaster bolts while he is sprinting or wall running. I think that'll come in handy. It's the auto deflect. You can flail around aimlessly like that tutorial video just showed us. How are you doing, Gemma? Is this the first time we've chatted in the new year? Happy new year. I hope you had uh, a wonderful holiday season. I accidentally hit meditate again. Okay, oh god! We are going to let them deal with that. I am quite content to sit back here while they fight the spiders. I am actually team stormtrooper right now. Oh, they found me. Okay, only that guy did. The rest of them are still occupied with the spider. One spider is down. I am very content to just watch this play out. Oh no, did the spider win? I don't want to get close to it. I don't think those fucking bolts even do anything. Ugh, we're gonna have to finish this off, BD. Alright, come on. Oh, he had literally a sliver of health left. All right, shout out to those guys for doing my work for me. Love Don't that for us. Hey, no. Now let's grab this loot. What do we find? New lightsaber material acquired. Dunium. I wonder if Grease can cook with these. And a new terrarium seed acquired. Bomb shear. Holding up okay? Oh, he wanted to scan that spider, but it disappeared too fast. <laughs> Last thing I remember was the little bunny things on Bagano. I'm surprised you managed to fall asleep at that gym, because I'm pretty sure I was screaming about how cute they were. So honestly, the fact that you fell asleep was uh, quite impressive. <laughs> With me in the background. Okay, I'll look. 
sap barrels. A barrel of refined Rochier sap. Its refinement process draws out impurities to distill a volatile chemical. The compound is utilized by the Empire in ways that are currently not understood. For every barrel of sap refined, over 200 tons of industrial waste are pumped into nearby waterways, slowly poisoning the planet. Lovely. Oh, that was a nice finisher. Gonna try that again. Not time that correctly. Or that. Or that. Oh my god, I am bad at this. So far, almost to the prison. Good. Imperial distress calls are going out across the planet. Oh! You don't get the might need to send a distress now. call for me. I promise. I'm gonna go up. We're going across the pipe then. The Jedi will be here any minute. And our reinforcements. And retreat. Good. Sir? The fewer distractions, the better. That's creepy. What do you think that was? Hi! You were looking for me? Get in here. Let's see if I can push these guys right off the side. Ugh. Probably could if I did it when he was closer. Oh god. Ow! Ah! Did he? Help. Glory for you, dude. Sorry. This needs power. How are you saying, Cal? Ah, shortcut on that. He's in prison. It's a Wookiee break. Except this guy's gonna try to ruin the party. Visitation is not permitted. Don't have any healing or health, and we've got ourselves a mini boss. So I'll try this again. I would assume. That's gonna be a tough little section there, because we're gonna have to defeat Staff Guy and then Robot back to back. Presumably, unless it auto saved right in the battle, which I doubt. Yeah, alright. Let's see if I can push them off. Yes! That was what I wanted to do the first time. Alright. That's awesome. 
Well, that was much easier. We good enough to win? There we go. Alright. Now we're going to fight this big bot. Ooh! Can you imagine a robot punching you in the face? How much that would hurt? I need help. Time too. One HP in a dream on that one. What's that? All right, Wookies. What's hopefully this? you enjoyed the show. Oh, right. That it. That uh, restores my health. All right. Let's let the Wookies out of jail. You're free. You're free. A big ol' Wookie hug. Who's ready to fight some imps? All right, let's help these Wookies get back in the fight. Great work, Jedi. Thanks. I do my best. All right, so the Wookies are saved. Keep going. We'll cover you. Have cover. Go that way. I wall run into a kill. We must be close. Oh, cool. No, I didn't execute it. Oh, man, that could have been so cool. I didn't do it right. Awesome, right in that nasty ass liquid. Make up for our missed wall kill. Death by honey. Or sap, I guess. Who is shooting me now? I have no idea who's shooting me right now. Your thing, BD. Ah, that turns that. Okay. If you stop. Oh, no, you need to stop it, like, in advance. That should be good. <laughs> hey, MK. Mm, wait, we gotta get on it, though. Okay, hang on. We'll come back to that. What's in here? Good night, Tara! Oh no, this looks like an elevator, though. Okay, well, how do I... Hmm. Yeah, there's loot, BD. Need some help here. Can you stay on that while I go jump on that, and then you... That's what we need to do. We need to do teamwork makes the dream work here, BD. But I think you're gonna stop being on this thing when I'm over here. Yeah, no, I need you to go overcharge it again, buddy. Can I just make, straight up make that jump? Ugh! I could if you had extended your arms, Cal! What the hell? It's like you wanted death by honey. Alright, we'll come back to that. I'm for the elevator. Come here, BD1. Epic. Lightsaber lighting. It's 
a big elevator. Loot! Yay! Hey! What is it? New lightsaber sleeve acquired. And right? It's so annoying when I'm like, I can make this jump, and then he just doesn't put his arms out. It's locked. Okay, it looks like we actually can't go this way, which means I'm probably gonna have to figure out how to make Cal use his arms. Well, at least we got the loot. an idea, actually. What if we just let BD charge this? And then we just freeze this. That does the trick. Yeah. Wait, what? How did I die? <laughs> what just killed me? So, is that not how you complete the puzzle? You need to go around because you can't stand on the thing when it regains momentum. For some reason, it immediately just crushes every limb in my body. Death by centrifugal force, literally. That was so weird. I just figured I'd wait in the middle, but no. Cal's joints couldn't handle the pressure. <laughs> Something. We got some more Wookiees in cells. Let's see if we can release them. To the prisons. We need the Wookiees to finish this. Hurry! They've got reinforcements. Go, go, go! You won't budge. We're trapped. Trapped in the fire room? Uh oh. Gotta get them out of there. This is it. We can't afford to lose. Oh no, it's one of these, and I don't have any health. Your life expectancy is grave. Oh man, no, it's totally mine. Mine is grave. Oh, it's so grave! Damn. <laughs> if I hadn't lost so much health on the whirly twirly thing, we would have been alright. At least now we know what to do. We can't do the thing where the kittens and Aristocats walk on the record. This game is dead to me. Are you guys seeing this? Do you guys see how far back they respawn me? What the fuck? Oh, that's dumb. Think we should check that out? At least I figured out how to get rid of those guys quickly. This is annoying. Yay! Hung! Frozen pizza! Hopefully it is delicious. Yeah, I don't have to fight this guy again, at least. The plus? What does this rope do? Wait a minute, I didn't see this before. Are we gonna do some rope gymnastics? Oh, yeah, we are. Fuck that other way. This is way more fun. Ah, ooh. Ooh, ah. We can open the shortcut. We can use that shortcut. We got a. That's a brawler droid process. Upgrade? You thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Well, maybe it was a good thing we died after all. We would have missed this. Now BD got a little little upgrade. BD-1 can control damaged KX series security droids. Awesome. That's just what we need. Press down to slice security droids while they are stunned. Don't mind if I do. All right.
<laughs> Morgan. Morgan heard the phrase, I'm sick of soup, and was immediately triggered. Morgan is our soup gal. Now, let's see if I can actually land this. There we go, that was cool. I don't even need to go fight that guy. Let me just leave it. Sure you are. You're doing a really great job of stopping me. Yep. Nice work. I'm totally stopped. Immobile, even. My progress is completely impeded by you, sir. Now, let's try this again. Valueless. Trivial opposition. I've got him. I'll never break his guard. All right. Now, BD, how injured does he have to be before you can take him over is the real question. Right now! Haha! <laughs> cool! Now he's our friend! Does that last forever or does that like wear off, I wonder? Well, either way, friends are friends. It's not forever. Did you hear what BD just hummed? I I recognize it, but I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you what it was. What was it? I need to hear it again. Oh, it was from John Williams' score. Cute. Aha! Shortcut. Back. Okay. Excellent. It's when Star Wars goes to credit. Ah! Oh, cool, 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 cool. I like that. Got to overcharge this. I'll have to listen more closely. Next time he does it. So what did that do? I don't even know. Wait, that means that in the canon, BD is aware this is a movie franchise. <laughs> BD's just breaking the fourth wall. Alright, what shield ability should we get? I think I want to get this one, Delay Thrust. Waiting longer to press attack after Cal swings his lightsaber allows him to perform a special attack with increased range. If you get an X and, and then Delay and then another X. Get that Delay Thrust. X, X. You take like a breath in between. X, X. Got it. There's just too many layers of meta. Alright guys, well it is getting late here and we clearly have a ton more to do here on Kashyyyk so rather than keep slugging forward, maybe we'll uh Call it a night here while we kind of have a break point in the action, and then when we resume next time, we can pick up with Cal and BD right here in Kashyyyk. We've already released some Wookiees. I'm sure there's still some more Wookiees to release. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will join me if you guys are new around here or if you need a reminder. Uh, our regular stream schedule is Tuesday and Thursday evenings, and we have decided to start 2023. That Tuesday is going to be our Jedi Fallen Order stream night. So if you enjoyed what you saw tonight and you want to see more Star Wars action, then hopefully I will see you guys back here next Tuesday. Uh, otherwise, we will be live on Thursday, but we will be playing a different game. We will be playing more Kinseed, which is an amazing farming simulator that we started last week. So we're only about three hours into it, but I loved it. I literally didn't want to stop stream last week because I was having so much fun. Um, so I'm very, very excited to dive back into Kinseed again, and hopefully you guys will join me. It's very Stardew Valley-esque in terms of its visuals and in terms of the general gameplay, 
Um, but it's actually made by some of the Lionhead Studios devs, the creators of Fable. And it has the humor of Fable. It has a lot more villagers. And we I don't even know if we're through the prologue yet. Uh, it seems quite beefy in nature. So anyway, I'm very, very excited for, for that. So hopefully I will see you guys on Thursday. If not, everybody, I just want to say thank you all so, so much for being here tonight. I had a blast. I literally just looked over and I was like, oh my god, we've almost been live for three hours. It was... One of, one of those kind of nights where the time just kind of flew, and uh, a lot of that was thanks to you guys. So thank you for hanging out, making me laugh, uh, and, and uh, participating in stream tonight. I really appreciate it, as always. Um, if I don't see you guys on Thursday, then I hope you have a lovely rest of your week. Take care of yourself. All of you guys who are sick, make sure you're resting up, drinking lots of water, uh, maybe drinking some soup a la Princess Morgan, the soup queen. Sure, she would uh, appreciate if we had some more soup consumers out there in the world. <laughs> but otherwise, that is it for me, everybody. Thank you all. And uh, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Good night, guys.